Politico has reported that the United States has hastened the timeline for the deployment of the B-61 Mod 12 nuke to Europe. The arrival of the upgraded B-61 Mod 12 airdropped gravity bomb, originally slated for next spring, is now planned for this December. U.S. officials told NATO allies during a closed-door meeting in Brussels this month, as per a cable. The particular cable was distributed throughout the Pentagon and State Department to keep policymakers abreast. This was further confirmed to Politico by two people familiar with the issue who asked not to be named. The move will see the replacement of older weapons with the newer B-61 Mod 12 at various storage facilities in Europe for potential use by U.S. and Allied fighters and bombers. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how the U.S. has managed to call Putin's nuclear threat a bluff with accelerated deployment of the B-61 Mod 12 nuclear bomb in Europe. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer All Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. The B-61-12 is a cooperative effort between the U.S. Air Force and the Department of Energy's National Nuclear Security Administration NNSA. The U.S. Air Force is responsible for acquiring the Boeing-designed GPS-assisted Inertial Navigation System INS, direct tail kit. NNSA is responsible for developing the bomb's main assembly and integrating the actual nuclear warhead into live weapons. U.S. military expects the B-61-12, also known as the B-61 Mod-12, to replace all existing versions of B-61. That's the B-61-3, 4, 7, and 11 in the active stockpile. The kit has tail fins to control the bomb's downward descent and will enable it to dive down on the target with high accuracy. This will see the removal of a parachute that's present in older variants. The bomb also uses rockets in the main body to spin-stabilize it in flight and improve its precision. The bomb's exact power remains classified. Some reports indicate the warhead will have a maximum yield of approximately 50 kilotons. To give viewers a perspective, here's a comparison. Trinity test in New Mexico in July 1945, which ushered in the nuclear age, had a yield of 20 kilotons. Hiroshima's Little Boy bomb had a yield of 13 to 18 kilotons, whereas Nagasaki's Fat Man bomb had a yield of 20 to 22 kilotons of TNT. B-6112 is expected to have a dial-a-yield capability which can limit the extent of the nuclear reaction inside the warhead to lower the explosive force. This way, a B-61 Mod 12 will be able to replace different bombs which have predefined explosive yields. The B-61 Mod 12 will also replace the B-61-11 Buster Bunker variant. In 2014, former U.S. Air Force Chief of Staff General Norton Schwartz Speaking at an event at the Stimson Center think tank in Washington, D.C., suggested that the guidance kit on the B-61-12 will enable it to destroy hardened underground targets without any specialized buster bunking variant, as the blast's impact will be very focused due to the high accuracy. Reports suggest that the Earth-penetrating power of B-61 Mod 12 is around 3.5 meters. A total of 400 B-61 Mod 12 are expected to be developed. Apart from B-2 bombers, the bomb is being integrated into dual-purpose combat jets, 
such as the F-16 and F-15 Strike Eagle, Tornado fighter jets, as well as F-35A Joint Strike Fighter. The Air Force conducted flight tests of the new bomb design on the F-35A in October 2021 and certified it on the F-15E in 2020. The U.S. Air Force also plans to integrate it into the future B-21 Raider bomber that will replace B-2 Spirit. Viewers may note that while a new nuclear-capable cruise missile is being developed for both B-2 and the B-52 bombers, a nuclear gravity bomb brings certain advantages. 1. More of these can be carried by B-2 or the future B-21 Raider when compared to the cruise missile and hence more targets could be neutralized in a single sortie. 2. The bombers, as well as any smaller jets carrying the nuclear bombs, though being vulnerable to counterattacks, are an important part of America's nuclear triad since this option offer much better flexibility. Bombers and fighters can shift targets or abort a mission entirely, even at the very last stage, when compared to missile-armed planes or sea or ground-launched cruise or ballistic missiles. The timing of this move from Washington is important here. In the last few weeks, President Putin made several remarks vowing to use all means available to protect land Moscow claimed as its own, which is widely believed to include the illegally annexed Ukrainian territories and pointed to the possible use of the nuclear option. Despite the repeated veiled references to Russia's nuclear arsenal in recent months, Putin has now said he has no intention of using such a weapon in Ukraine. There's no point in that, neither political nor military, he said. Meanwhile, the Kremlin continues to allege that Ukraine is preparing to use a radioactive dirty bomb on its own territory and blame it on Russia, a claim that Ukrainian and Western leaders denounce as baseless lies and a pretext to escalate the conflict. There is one school of thought that Putin is using the nuke card to blackmail the West and create a rift regarding its support for Kyiv. The accelerated deployment of B-61 Mod 12 could be seen as a way for the United States to reassure European allies who are particularly vulnerable to Russia's nuclear blackmail. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.